So let's take a look how to use this cracked class effect for the Vinci Resolve. So once you download this FX pack, you will get this zip file. Now just unzip it and you will get this folder over here. Now just open up that and you will find these folders inside it. Now you have to open up this macro folder and over here you will find all of these macro files as well as a DRFX file. So there is two ways you can install it. You can just select uh, all of these macro files along with these PNG images. Then you can just copy all of them. Then you can open up the Vinci Resolve directory file. So open up the C drive, open up program files, Blackmagic Design, Vinci Resolve, Fusion, Templates, Edits, and over here, Effects. Over here, you can just paste all of this. It will be installed. But the best way will be to install with this TRFX file. So for that, just double click on this TRFX file. And over here, it will ask you for to install. Now just click on the install. Now once you do that, inside this FX parameter, you will find this cracked glass effect category. So select it. And over here, you will find all of this cracked glass effect. Now there is 10 different cracked glass effect over here. You can just hover over them to see the preview, as you can see. And you can just drag and drop them in the timeline on top of your footage. And it will be applied instantly over here. Now if you just come over here to this effects panel over here, as you can see, if you can't see it, make sure to enable the inspector tab. And here you will find all of the settings. So at first you will find this media scale and position, rotation, etc. Then there is a glass transform. So over here you can move the glass position. You can change the scaling individually over here. As you can see, you can get a very unique look just by customizing these things over here. Then you can flip it like so. Then you will find this glass displays. Over here you can change the displacement, position, offset, and the refraction over here. Then this is the glass edge. So if you just increase the brightness of the edge, you see, as well as you can control the gamma to get some uniqueness. After that, there is a glass smudge. So if you just turn on that, you see, there is a lots of more smudges over here. So you can adjust it. And there is an aberration amount. There is a chromatic aberration. You can adjust it over here. So that's basically it. You can just uh, drag and drop this on top of any footage you want. So over here, as you can see, I can just drag and drop like so. And whatever the resolution, it doesn't matter. It will always apply. So that's basically it for this tutorial.